I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of the Russian Federation, His Excellency Sergei Vershinin, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thank you very much. Distinguished President of the General Assembly, esteemed Secretary General of the United Nations, distinguished Commissioner General, I would like to say that the Russian Federation highly appreciates the role of UNRWA in alleviating the situation of Palestine refugees. We have consistently defended and will continue to defend the need for the appropriate resourcing of the activities of UNRWA, including when discussing this matter in the administrative and budgetary organs of the UN General Assembly. We know about the difficulties faced by the agency some of them due to the foreign policy line of the American government in the Middle East. An acknowledgement of UNRWA's role is the support that we have made in the form of one of contributions to the budget in accordance with the decree of the Russian Federation government for the allocating of 2017 to 2021, $10 million over that period, $4 million of that sum has already been made available to the government, to the agency. In 2013 and 2015, the Russian Federation also made voluntary contributions to the agency's budget of $2 million apiece. We are moved by the fact that unlike other international structures working in the humanitarian sphere, UNRWA over many years has managed to maintain a balanced, unbiased line in spite of the external pressure placed on it. It has been able to avoid a politicization of its efforts and, on the whole, effectively implement its broad mandate. We understand that this is now being done today in very difficult conditions. The latest ratcheting up of escalations in violence around the Gaza Strip is a cause of great concern. The many incidents with those who were killed and injured, threats to the lives of civilians, both Palestinians and Israelis, set far back the prospects for establishing the Palestinian-Israeli negotiating process on the well-known international legal basis. We understand the vast burden weighing on the shoulders of the agency in these circumstances. There is a similar situation in Syria for Palestinian refugees. Yarmouk and rare areas of Damascus have been freed from terrorists, but there is an acute need for humanitarian assistance, including for recovery purposes. We know that the agency is regularly providing this assistance through Russia, and in particular the Russian Ministry of Defense. In Syria, in the suburbs of Damascus, assistance is also making its way through, and we see ways to accompany our efforts. In principle, we believe that providing assistance and support to UNRWA will help to advance the Middle East peace process on the internationally recognized international legal basis in the interests of implementing the two-state solution of two states living in peace and security. Thank you for your attention. I thank the distinguished representative of the Russian Federation, and I 